go, let's go, let's get crazy. Let's get nuts. You wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts. Got all these glasses, I look like a nerd. So I'm at work working one more shift before I head out tonight at six to the Dakotas. Uh, starting off in Fargo, try to find something to do there. It didn't seem like there's much. And then I'm gonna drive down to Pierre in South Dakota. And then the next day I'm gonna go to Badlands and then go to Rapid City. Do Mount Rushmore, Sturgis, maybe Deadwood. And then after that, I'm gonna head back to LA. Uh, well, I'm not gonna head back. I'm going to LA to spend the rest of the week or like, yeah, it's more, yeah, it's a week. Like a week and a half. So a week and a half with my family. Maybe hit up a Dodger game. Dodger baseball. I don't particularly care for the Dodgers. I'm a Yankees fan. Go Yankees. But my parents, well, my dad is. My dad's a huge uh, Dollier fan. I get off at 1.30 p.m. and my flight leaves at 6. So I got to rush home, change. I still need to buy a couple stuff, a few things. So I got done with my shift, went home, came back to the airport, went to the annex gate. California one, one of the coolest airplanes Southwest has. Plane got here late, nobody was there to greet it, finally was able to come in. It's always kind of awkward when you see your old boo. I'm pretty sure I worked on that plane a couple times. safely at Fargo around 940. I went to go get my car, went to the hotel, checked in, went to go see a movie, then went back to the hotel. I'm pretty sure I recorded all this, but I have no idea what happened in the footage. But that's what I did, and then got ready for the next day. Downtown Fargo. Greetings to the That's pretty cool. So far goes so far. So far was really nice. It's a really nice city. It's just it doesn't seem like much to do. I saw there's like a noticeable African population, which is interesting, being this far north and this uh, mostly. I wouldn't say white, but not really that many white people. It's about the same. I will say that I was at Walmart. And I was thinking to myself, I haven't seen a Mexican here besides me, and I'm not really like stand out, a stand out Mexican. I'm like a D League Mexican. And then I'm pulling my little cart, and then I see a, a Mexican, and he kind of looks at me like, oh snap, there's another one? And I look at him, and we just kind of do the old jock nod. The downtown kind of looks like. Des Moines gives me a real Des Moines vibes or some real Des Moines vibes and it's starting to get hot and it's gonna get hot the rest of the day but right now I'm gonna go to the uh, museum the Plains Art Museum 
It's a nice little and free museum near downtown Fargo. It has a revolving door, I guess you could say, of different art installations and exhibitions. This one was on the very first floor, a little gray for color, donated by this man, last name Powell. He's a rich North Dakotan architect, I believe. And he donated these art installations to this museum. This is a really cool uh, art piece. I really don't know that much about art, but I do like looking at it. It'd be nice if I could find out more. These were some really interesting pieces. That one was a little weird. This one I liked. I like the Jackie O one, and this was my favorite piece as well. Oh, and that one was really cool too. Now on to the second floor. This was my favorite installations of the three that I saw the Oscar, Oscar Howell, excuse me. Don't know how to pronounce the Native American name there. But as you can see, it's a Native American depictions, arts, mostly South Dakotan. What was really interesting is you'll see in a, in a second that he would sketch out these drawings first, these, these art works of art, and then he would put them on a canvas. And then they actually have his uh, original desk there. It was really interesting to see these Native American paintings. I really actually do enjoy a lot of Native American art like that. See, that's what I was talking about right there. Some very interesting pieces. I wish, uh, I'm gonna have to look this guy up, Oscar Howe. So this is the last installation and it had some very interesting pieces to say the least. And they're a little out there, but that's, you know, art is subjective, art is whatever it can be, whatever it wants to be. I say that as someone who doesn't know that much about art, but uh, I know that I like it. I know that it's cool. It'd be nice to have some of those paintings, not the ones in this gallery, but the ones in the previous two galleries. That painting was pretty cool. That one was also very nice. This one was the one that was a little interesting. Leave a, leave a comment, see what you guys would name that one. So this is a small town of Jamestown, and this is, I believe, like a little frontier village. And it leads you to the world's largest buffalo statue in North Dakota. They really love their buffaloes. They also like them in South Dakota, but they seem to ham it up more a little bit in the north. So I went there. There's a little village. There's shopping. There's like these little general stores. There's also a buffalo museum. I didn't uh, want to go to that so much seemed a little expensive but i get it you gotta you gotta pay your employees you gotta pay property but uh this is all i did really in this little area i drove this is about an hour away from fargo and i took a little detour just to see this uh buffalo and it is pretty impressive so i am in, in jamestown uh north dakota still in north dakota i'm in jamestown north dakota and i came over here to see this the world's largest buffalo statue.
windshield driving this car. Everybody knows I went too far. Go. A country boy can't survive. There it is, baby. There it is, guys. 45, South Dakota. Home of the home of the uh, the Harlem Gove Travelers, try tra Harlem basketball team, and home of the Whopper. Make that 45, guys. I'm officially in South Dakota. Still got two hours to get to Pierre, but. 45, only five left, baby. Fwah, 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 fwah. Almost to Pierre, 45 minutes. So part of South Dakota and oh, <clears throat> so part of South Dakota and North Dakota, they're the plane. I think they're they're considered the plains, and you can really see it. So I'm wondering, what part do I get to the mountains? Currently chilling in Deadwood, South Dakota. And thank you for watching whatever video that was. I'm gonna guess it was South Dakota, North Dakota, one of those. But uh, thank you for watching. Tell your friends, tell your family members. Remember to like and subscribe because apparently that helps. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. And uh, unless I die, then that's it. But here you go. There's Main Street. It really does.